guys. Happy Saturday. I'm just trying to get some things done today because hopefully I'll be able to get go on the snowmobile in a little bit. Do a test run. I haven't been on one for a while. I'm excited. Getting shit done. I'm not grinding today. Just making content and relax. Anyway. Hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's doing good in the chaoticness of this world. I want to thank everybody that's supporting me, backing me, helping me. It's been a rough year, not just for me, but I'm sure it has been for everybody. I hope it doesn't get worse, but we will never know with this upcoming week with the impeachment and yeah I don't know I feel like we're getting put in a lockdown pretty damn soon but that's life for us I guess you know and you know it always could be worse always could be worse and I have to always remember remind myself that something of my life and I don't want to be a loser I want to be the best version I can make of myself and the challenges are a sweet victory when you overcome something hard for you to do and you know everybody's got their certain things like I sometimes have panic attacks when I go into a store myself wrong because I'm my biggest enemy I'm my biggest doubter I'm you know I always let myself down I always say I can't but what happens when I really can and it's just you know growth expansion if you have a dream 
why aren't you trying to achieve it? Why aren't you trying to do better? Why are, why is life gotta be so difficult? Why do things have to be so difficult? They really don't have to at the end of the day. You know, there's easy ways to fix it. Sometimes it takes hard work. Sometimes it just takes a little thought to find a solution to the problem that you're having, you're facing. And you know, it just takes a little bit of hard work and grinding to get there. And some, it's, it's a slow road. It's just not gonna happen overnight. Unless you become famous on TikTok for licking a toilet seat or some shit. But honestly, is that really how you want your, your legacy to be left? I got famous because I start rumors and I lick the toilet on a TikTok challenge. And it's just like, is that what people really strive for in life? Is that what people really want out of their life? Is, you know, it's, it's quick, quick popularity, but popularity only goes far because that's more people that are there to deceive you because people are always going to have your best intentions for the things you do and the things you want out of your life. And... You know, this is why you have to build a foundation. You have to build a structure. You have to build yourself up from that. And in order to make a house, you have to start on the foundation. And you want to know what's the biggest investment you'll ever make in your life? It's your home. It's where you lay your head at night. It's where your family stays. It's where your growth happens. Where love is stayed. And you have to start somewhere. And this is why you have to start with the foundation and you have to build yourself up from there. So if you don't start somewhere, how is it going to happen for you? It's not going to be handed to you. It's not going to be given because, well, unless you're, I don't know, celebrity, like, or your, your family, I'd, but either way, you as a person, needs to grow and you know what just keep going keep sticking to the grind don't ever give up because if you give up that's you giving up on yourself giving up on the foundation and the home you're trying to create for yourself and the place you're trying to take your life and you have to push to be better and greater and move further than that and it's just it's just you can't give up you just can't give up sometimes. But, out of hindsight, I look a lot different thick today, don't I? I gave myself a haircut, trimmed up. I'm feeling good, looking good. Not to be cocky. But, you know, small things like this improves your self-esteem. Just, you know, taking care of yourself doing better for yourself and you know what that helps you push yourself further just having self-esteem having more confidence in yourself and doing what you do to be the best you can be and sometimes it is hard and sometimes it takes time and you know it takes time to find where you're meant to be what you know your personal self should be and growing, expanding, doing what you've got to do to do your best. So, when you're feeling down, when you're in the in the dumps, just look at my life. I've gone through so much shit. I've gone over it. I've gone through it. So why can't you? I'm a pile of shit in my eyes. I am worthless in my eyes. And some people might not think that. But I use that to help me push myself to go further, to try harder, to keep going. And that's what you need in life is just to keep going and trying your best, people. And I just, I preach and preach about it. And I see so many sad people that hate life. And it's just like, do you understand? Like, your life is good compared to some other people. Like, I get it, we're in a pandemic. You lost a lot of freedoms. But you know what? It happens. Like, people lose their freedoms. Good people lose their freedoms. And it doesn't just happen just to one person. It happens to everybody. And it's just fathoms me sometimes that when people have some bad experience in their life, it's just, it's the real 
world's over. And you shouldn't look at it like that. Like, your world's not over. <laughs> you're young, you're old, you still have time to achieve something to, you know, better your life. Just don't give up. Like, I get it, you're tired, you're stressed, you don't know what to do. Usa. Find a place that helps you relax. Find yourself. Love yourself. And you know what? If somebody says something to put you down, fuck them. They're not worth your breath, time of the day. And, you know, just, I've, I've had so many people talk shit about me, to me. And it's just like, bro, fuck you. If your opinion mattered to me, I wouldn't keep doing what I'm doing. Like, I ain't giving up just because one person doesn't like me, two people don't like me, and nobody should. Not you, not I. But on this high note, folks, I'm wrapping this up. I hope everybody has a safe and fun Saturday. Stay calm with the chaos going on in the road, because I don't know if we've hit the worst part yet. It could get worse, it could get better. But all I know is, I, I pray for everybody's safety, health, and you know, if you're down, you're a good person. Remember that. If I'm the only one to tell you that you're beautiful today, you're beautiful inside and out. So keep that in your heart and spread kindness. Be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. Don't give up, keep grinding, and keep your chin up buttercup. Because you know what? You're the best person you know and that opinion is the only opinion that ever matters and i don't want you guys to forget that all right y'all peace